welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going over my top 10 products from Lululemon purchased in 2021. So I tried to narrow this down. First of all, I went through all of my purchases and I narrowed it down to like 20 pretty easily. But getting it from 20 like narrowed down was extremely difficult. So I actually have 13, I think 12 or 13. I might have been able to take out one more, but it was very difficult. So we're going to go through those products. These are my favorite products, my most worn products for workouts, athleisure, wearing to work. I'll tell you all about that. Um, and I do work in an office where we wear like business casual attire. So I make it work. I figure out a way to wear Lululemon almost every day. Oh, and also in honor of the scuba half zips being back in stock, I decided to wear this. I don't think this color is in stock. This one I think might be the red Merlot, but after them being on hiatus for like a month, maybe longer, they're finally back on the site. So I will link the scuba oversized half zip below. I'm not sure how many sizes and colors are currently in stock, but I know that a lot of people were waiting for it for Christmas gifts. So anyway, check it out. I'll have it linked below. I love these sweatshirts. I wear them all the time. I have a couple colors and um, I think you should check it out if your size or even one size up. I think you could definitely go up in size. I wear medium large um, and I have seen a lot of people go up and it works just as well. So we're going to actually, I think this is one of my products, spoiler alert, um, but we're going to go ahead and get into those products in just a minute. I also did want to let you know that I know a lot of you love Lululemon um, as much as I do. And I know that a lot of you have found my channel through Lululemon. So I want to assure you that I have quite a few more Lululemon videos coming up. I know with Vlogmas and stuff, they've kind of been like sprinkled throughout, but I haven't been doing like covering as much Lululemon content as I would like to. So those videos will be coming. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, I have still my October 2021 haul, November 2021 haul, um, and then Black Friday, which will all be going up during Vlogmas. Um, and then I also will eventually, probably in January, have my December haul and then my um, Boxing Day haul. So there's a lot of Lululemon videos coming up over the next month or so. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give this uh, video a thumbs up too so I know that you love the Lululemon content because I'm, I'm sure a majority of you do. And I'll stop talking, let's get into the products. All right, so I'm gonna scoot over a little bit so I can put a picture of the product here. And I've got my little list. So I'm gonna start with tops. So the first top that I wanna talk about is the Muscle Love. So the Muscle Love top um, is something that I love to wear both casually and to work out in. I think, I personally wear a size 10. I think this would also make a great gift as would any of these products. So if you're looking for any last minute gifts, um, you can probably make it into the store and grab them. Or I think you can do like curbside pickup or whatever. Um, I don't know like what the last day is for Lululemon as far as ordering and getting it delivered on time. But the Muscle Love Crop is a great top. One, to wear to work out in. I love it for high intensity workouts. I wear it when I'm warming up or like when I'm doing the first part of my workout. So like at Orange Theory, I usually start on the rower or in the weight room. And so I'll wear my, like my long sleeve or whatever. And then whenever I get on the treadmill, I'll take it off and just wear my sports bra. Similarly, like for CrossFit, I'll wear it for my warm up and then take it out for like, take it off for like the actual wad. Um, and then I'll wear it running all the time. It's great for running, especially this time of the year. And then also I like to wear it casually, just like with joggers or leggings, or like I said, after a workout. So the Muscle Love crop is a great top. I actually got my first one last year, I think after like Boxing Day. Um, and then I bought a couple more this year. So that is a great item. I highly recommend. Okay, so the next top is the All Yours Tee. And some of these are currently on sale. I know Black and White was still pretty well stocked. And those were on sale and went on sale for Black Friday. So I'll make sure to link those below. But I love this top. And I hope they're not like phasing it out or getting rid of it. 
I have so many. So I buy a size 8 or 10. The 10s I like to wear to bed. And I know that kind of sounds like a little ridiculous, but they're so comfortable. And so I like the size 10 to sleep in. The size 8 I wear all the time, especially in the summer with like a line shorts or tracker shorts. Um, my son is in swimming lessons and we just like obviously quickly get dressed after and that top is just so easy to throw on after or wear like before on the way to the pool like to to swim and so it's just such an easy top and it's so comfortable like I said I love to sleep in it I love to wear it like to warm up to the gym to like just casual like like I said, activities like swimming and stuff. It's just such a good basic top. And I know it can be kind of pricey for a t-shirt, but it's, it's, it's like, it's literally the best t-shirt. I love it. So try it out, especially if it's on sale. If it is on sale, remember you can't return, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. Try it out. Okay. So the next top is the key to balance tank and this top I wear a size 10 and initially, so this is a new loo top. So same fabric as a line tank, a line leggings, anything in the align line. Um, so this came out, um, the align tank came out initially and then they came out with like the align tank with like the scrunch for the C to D cut. Um, and then now they have like the high neck align and what else did they bring out? I think they had something else too, but anyway, the key to balance came out, um, fairly early. So this was like the first high neck option for those of us with like a little bit larger than an A or B cup. So it's really great because it's the same fabric It's as, as the Align Tank. It's super comfy, but it's got a lot more coverage. Um, so the back is twisted, which I'll put the picture so that you can see. Um, but it's very, very comfortable. It's very supportive. It does have the built-in bra, so you don't have to wear a bra. If I'm going to Orange Theory or going running, I will add a bra. Likely the Energy Bra. I like to wear the Energy Bra under it. Um, or maybe just like a basic, oh, what's the bra that I have? I have an old bra. It's it's no longer sold at Lululemon. They phased it out last year, but it's just like a simple racer back bra. Um, so I'll wear that sometimes. But I really like the Key to Balance tank. I personally prefer to wear it for workouts. I know a lot of people wear it casually as well. But for me personally, I feel as though after a certain amount of time, it kind of like cuts in here and starts to like bother me. Um, after so many hours, right? So like any, I feel like any of my supportive tops do that. And so I just don't like to wear it for a very long period of time, but for working out, it is so great. I love the high neck. It's also a little bit longer. It's not super cropped. So if you're like a little self-conscious or you want a little more coverage or whatever, it gives you, it's not full length, but it's not as cropped as like the Align Tank. It's, it's a really nice length. So I think it's a great top for working out in. Like I said, some people find it comfortable to wear casually. I would check it out. This is a great top. I own it in like four colors. I, I, all of these things I own in multiple colors. So highly recommend. Okay, the next and last top is the Align Tank. So as I mentioned, the Align Tank is a lot lower cut. <laughs> um, you can look a little like booby in it if you have a bigger chest. I don't really know the proper terms. I mean, I guess you can see cleavage in it. So I size up to a size 12. I have some 10s and some 12s. The 10s fit, but like I said, it's just a little more like showy than I want sometimes. Um, and the 12 is just a little bit more conservative, I guess. So, okay, I love the Align Tanks for many reasons. Um, I only wear them like casually. I don't wear them to work out in, but that's just because of my comfort level, my chest size. I prefer very compressive, tight tops. So, I like to wear the Align Tank in the summer on its own with like Align biker shorts, tracker shorts, um, soft ambition shorts, love the Align Tank joggers. Um, and then I'll wear it like in the fall and winter under like a scuba oversized uh, zip or any kind of sweatshirt for that matter. I really like to wear the Align Tank under sweatshirts when it's a little bit cooler because it gives me that versatility to take it off if I need to because it gives me enough coverage. It's not just a sports bra, but it also is just as comfortable as like any other bra. So 
Anyway, it's nice because I have like that option to wear it as a shirt or a bra. So I like to wear it under like oversized sweatshirts like this a lot of the times. And then I love to wear it to work. So I wear it as my undershirt. So you know how some blouses, like work blouses, especially if you're wearing white, can be kind of like a little bit sheer. So you don't necessarily just want to wear your bra because then you can see. But then sometimes if you wear a tank top, it's like too long and it bunches up awkwardly in your pants. Anyway, these are kind of like all the struggles that I've had as a working woman. So I really like the Align Tank because it's cropped enough where it pretty much hits where my like pants start. So I don't have all that excess fabric. It counts as a bra, like it's enough support for me as a bra and it's enough coverage for a tank. So like if I'm wearing those shirts, you can't see through. So I have a couple that are like close um, to my skin tone for that purpose. I think I have, I know Pecan Tan is still in stock, which is great if you're like similar skin tone to me. And then Cacao was great for a little bit like darker complexion and then they had like French press. So I would recommend looking for, if you wanna use it for that purpose, looking for a color that's close to your skin tone that you can wear as a bra um, I love it for that purpose and um, I also like I said I have a lot of the fun colors for summer or to wear under sweatshirts where it doesn't really matter but I really do like the neutral colors to wear under work tops and I just think like also if you're nursing totally forgot to mention this if you're nursing and I'm sorry if you're not or you don't whatever want to hear this but it's just really easy access you can just you know pop it out feed your baby and you can kind of like maneuver it in a way that you still have like the coverage on your stomach but you can like adjust yourself uh, over the top and like have your coverage for your baby so again next time I have a uh, like a newborn and a nursing baby I'm gonna be wearing those a ton as well because they're it's just I could talk about the Align tank forever clearly so I think you should try it out so moving into bras I want to talk about the like a cloud bra and I'm gonna kind of cheat here and say both the long line and the regular version. So let's talk about the regular version first. The regular version is straight straps that goes just totally front to back, which is perfect. Again, this is another bra that I love to wear for work. So if you are a working woman, highly recommend. You can't tell that you're not wearing a real bra, especially this time of the year if you're wearing like an oversized sweater or a cardigan over like your blouse or even a blazer, like you can't tell, nobody knows. Be comfortable, skip the underwire, please. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love the Like a Cloud bra. It has, so it like, it has built in cups. So it's not, it's kind of like just a little bit thicker where it gives you that coverage, but it's not like, super padded cups if that makes sense um it's very very comfortable very soft a great great bra like i said it's got like the low scoop necks you can't you can't see it with the shirt like with you know you can't see it sticking out um i just highly recommend great bra you can wear it i wear it all the time casually i wear it again with sweatshirts to work under under my like all yours tees like all the time favorite bra most comfortable bra and because it has those built-in pads you don't have to mess with it like you know how sometimes like even with the align tank for example you have to adjust the pads or you have to take them out or whatever the like a cloud bra you don't have to deal with it it's it's built in it's perfect you're good to go so on the same note i want to mention the long line bra if you are a larger cup size you may want to consider the long line bra. So I am like a C cup and I wear the regular one most often. Um, and I wear a size 12. I prefer to size up for extra coverage around my rib cage or extra room around my rib cage because I want it to be comfortable. Um, and so I size up to a size 12. If you have larger, a larger cup size, you may want to have the long line because the regular line kind of sits like just right under your bust and not that it doesn't provide enough support, but with the extra long line, you just have that extra coverage, that extra fabric, which then provides a little more support. You can kind of like adjust yourself a little bit more, whereas the regular line, it just is very much sits right under your butt. So you really don't have much um, opportunity to manipulate if you want to like move things around. If you have a larger cup size, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, um, if you are like a D cup 
I might try out the long line. The only difference with the long line is it's like crisscross on the back. Again, if you're wearing like a sweater or something, you can't tell. But that's definitely one of the perks of the regular version um, as far as like wearing for work and stuff. So that's why I have a lot more of the regular version. I have one of the long line and I do really like it. It's just as comfortable. But I could see why women with a bigger cup size may prefer the long line version. Okay, moving on into pants. If you've watched my channel, if you've watched any of my Lululemon videos, this will come to no surprise. The legging that I recommend to everyone is the Wonder Train in the 25 inch. Um, you could go to the 23 inch if you're a little bit shorter, but I recommend a full length Wonder Train pants. Get yourself a pair of black Wonder Trains. You will not regret it. The Wonder Trains are made with the Everlux fabric, which is my favorite fabric from Lululemon. So it's the fastest drying fabric, perfect for working out, perfect for high intensity, running, you name it. It's awesome. So it's got like a brushed um, feel on the outside. So it feels similar to the Align leggings in that it's very comfortable and soft and it's just, it's a really good fabric. It doesn't feel so much like an athletic type of fabric. It feels very comfortable. But then on the inside, it's um, much more like slick and, you know, sweat wicking and cooling almost. Um, and so that's kind of what helps like absorb the sweat really quickly when you're working out. But it is just so comfortable. My favorite thing about the Everlux fabric versus the Align fabric is that it won't pill it does not snag as easily. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, with a toddler, things just <laughs> tend to get ruined. Um, and you know, he's got his toys, he's got his Velcro shoes, he's got like, I don't know, just like anything just can catch, you know, on the aligned leggings and cause it to pull. The nice thing about the Wonder Trains is that will not happen. So like when we went to Disneyland, I wore my Wonder Trains and I was comfortable all day for 12 hours um, and I didn't, like it didn't ruin the fabric whatsoever. So I highly recommend the Wonder Trains. I wear them for running, CrossFit, Orange Theory, um, casually, like I said, Disneyland, um, running errands. Like I think they are so great. They are more compressive, okay? So like the Wonder, um, similar compression to the Wonder Under. Um, I, I think a little bit more compressive personally. They do have the drawstring at the top so you can tighten them. So if you're concerned, I would go up a size because you can always tighten the waist to make it, um, you know, to cinch it in. Actually, I used to do that when I was running. I don't know if I gained weight or I just didn't don't prefer that anymore but I used to cinch it when I would go running I don't anymore um but if you're like questioning what size to get the person if you're giving them a gift or whatever I would go up a size because they it is a little bit more compressive like they are tight but you can tighten the waistband so I wear a size six my true to size in all lululemon bottoms so I think they fit true to size I don't mind that compressive fit. Like I said, I wore mine for 12 hours at Disneyland and I was totally fine. But um, just something to keep in mind if the person that you're buying for or if you yourself don't like very compressive things, maybe size up. Okay, so the next pant that I wanna talk about is the groove pant. So I went back and forth on the Align pants or the groove pants and I love my Align pants. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot. I have quite a few pair. And I really, really honestly wear my black pair, my black 25 inch the most. So if you're thinking about getting somebody aligns, I highly recommend black 25 inch, whoever you're buying for, or if you're new to Lululemon and you're buying for yourself, you will get a ton of use out of them. Um, I have a bunch of other colors and I always grab my black ones. Like I don't know why, I don't know why I buy so many other ones when I just know 99% of the time I'm gonna reach for the black one. So if you're thinking about that, I would just recommend do like black or, or if you're more like a navy person, maybe do that, but just a neutral color. So anyway, I thought about including those and I'll link them below and everything like that. But of my purchases for this year, my favorite have been the groove pants. And I think I've mentioned this, I think in a video before, it's very reminiscent of my college days. We used to wear the Victoria's Secret pink ones with like pink written across your like butt and with the like bedazzle, so cute. 
so I just think like this is a much more like elevated and kind of like mature take on what I used to love when I was like 20 21 um, and so I really like the groove pants they're just as comfortable as the Align pants they are super high rise so something to keep in mind I think if you're pregnant the super high rise would be great so you know that's something to consider it, it would be able to go over your bump which would be awesome or like pretty far over so they are super high rise they do have different seaming at the back so they're not like that v they're like more of a rounded seam um but that being said they are so comfortable they're so flattering i just love the flare um I think it's really cute you can't tell like what socks you're wearing you could also wear it with like uggs or whatever I don't know maybe that makes me sound old maybe that's not cool I don't really care I'm talking about comfort here and I like the Align Groove pants for comfort so highly recommend try them out you will need to get them hemmed most likely unless you're very tall I had to get mine hemmed um, and, and Lululemon does do free hemming, so you can just take them into your store and get them hemmed. Um, so don't, you know, don't be deterred by the length because you can just easily get that fixed. But I really like them, and if you're, like, around my age, maybe you'll remember the pink leggings and, or what, what did we even call them back then? The yoga pants. So, anyway, I think that the groove pants are a fun new spin on that. Okay, moving into shorts, I can keep these a little bit more brief than the last than pants because a lot of these translate so two of the shorts I'm going to be talking about were mentioned previously so first I'll start off with the wonder train shorts I love the wonder train shorts I personally well I shouldn't I shouldn't I was gonna say I personally prefer the six inch but I have some six inch and some eight inch I think the six inch is more universally flattering I also have some four inch actually if you're into crossfit and you like shorter shorts because a lot of crossfit athletes have like much shorter shorts you might want to try the four inch if they have any in stock i'll see if they do and i'll link what i can below but i really like the wonder train four inch for like crossfit workouts um and then i use the eight inch sometimes for like running because you know sometimes when you're running you don't want your thighs to rub together so if that's an issue for you maybe consider the eight inch so that you have that extra coverage especially like marathon training half marathon training when you're out there for extended period of t periods of time um, especially in the summer when it's like humid maybe consider the eight inch just so that you have that extra fabric to protect your legs from chafing so anyway those are like the four and the eight but I personally would go with the six. I think those are the most universal, either if you're new to Wonder Trains or the person that you're buying for, like you're not sure what length to get. I think the six inch um, generally tend to be the most popular. And again, the Wonder Trains have that straight seam across the back. They're the Everlux fabric. They come with a drawstring so you can tighten them. So again, if you're unsure of sizing, I would size up because you can tighten them. Um, I have heard some people uh, kind of complain that the bottom seam around your thigh can cut in so if you have larger thighs you may also want to consider sizing up for some extra um, like room around your thighs and again you can tighten it at the waist so something to consider I personally wear a size 6 in all Lululemon bottoms all the bottoms that I have are size 6 I will mention I think I have the ready to Rulu joggers total side note I have the ready to Rulu joggers in a size 6 and I think if I ever buy them again I'll buy a size 8 because I think I just they're like supposed to be comfortable joggers and I think I prefer a size up just for comfort but all that aside every bottom that I have from Lululemon is a size 6 my tops vary from size 8 to 12 and so I think it's a little bit harder for tops because people have different preferences on how they want it to fit but as far as bottoms I think personally it's a little bit easier to stick with one size so anyway um wonder train shorts are great perfect like I said working out wearing casually everything that I kind of mentioned about the wonder train leggings holds true for the shorts as well okay next shorts I'm going to talk about are the align shorts and again similar to what I said about the align leggings and the wonder train shorts so the align leggings are delicate you need to be careful with them they will snag easily so if you have children or um you're just not very careful with your garments i mean even certain jewelry can cause you know snagging so just be aware of that um just be careful and you know don't wear them i don't recommend wearing aligns to work out um especially if you're like lifting you don't want to get 
the barbell near you know your line fabric or anything like that so keep that in mind um, if you're unsure however I think the Align shorts are great for many other reasons. I love to wear them mainly casually. Um, I like, I have the 8 inch, the 6 inch, and the 4 inch. The 4 inch are great if you need shorts to wear like under a dress or a skirt if you prefer something with like extra coverage. Um, I have a pair of 4 inch Align shorts in black that I have worn under like a short dress just so that I personally had that extra security. So something to consider. Um, I don't really wear the Align 4 inch shorts like out and about. I mainly wear them under things and they're very, very comfortable. The 8 inch Align shorts I also really like because you can kind of like pull them up because the Align fabric is stretchy and very comfortable. You can manipulate the fabric a little more and like cinch them up as opposed to the Wonder Trains which are a little bit more like compressed to your skin. You can't really move them around as much. So you could also get the Align 8 inch shorts which like I said allow a little more versatility because you can pull them all the way down or kind of scrunch them up to make them a little shorter. But again, similar to what I said with the Wonder Train shorts, the Align 6 inch shorts are most popular. And I think, again, if you're unsure what to get, those are great. I love wearing mine with like a Kate's tee or an All Yours tee, you know, if I want to wear a crop tee. Or if I'm in the mood for like a longer look, I'll wear um, the All Yours tee with it. Um, I like to wear my 8 inch Align shorts with the perfectly oversized crop crew because it's an or not the perfectly oversized crop crew the perfectly oversized crew because it's a longer sweatshirt and um, so I like to wear the longer shorts and the longer sweatshirt so that you have a little bit of that length in the shorts so I really like the Align shorts I think they're very you know they're very comfortable great pair of shorts if you want to try the biker shorts trend I think you should I've heard a lot of people say that they kind of go back and forth bite the bullet give it a try maybe look for some on sale because um, if you get them on sale it's a little bit lower risk but I think that if you get them especially like a black six inch pair again I know I say this for a lot of things but if you can afford to buy the full price item and not buy a sale item get the black um, you know in a standard length and I think you'll surprise yourself with how much you'll wear it. Okay last pair of shorts I want to talk about are the speed up high rise four inch shorts so there are a lot of different options for the speed up shorts so actually speed ups were my first shorts i ever purchased from lululemon and i used to buy the two and a half low rise and let me tell you the fabric is like this much <laughs> and i still have a lot of those and i still like them and i still wear them but they are very short so imagine like low rise two inch okay now we're talking four inch high rise so i went from like this to this so i have a lot more fabric now in my preferred um shorts but i know a lot of people like the two and a half inch and like i said sometimes i'm just not in the mood for shorts that short but i haven't gotten rid of them because i do still like them so now i like the four inch high rise i wear those running casually um orange theory crossfit like i wear them for all my workouts and i wear them i like to wear them casually too in the summer so highly recommend those shorts these ones do have like the built-in um, underwear if that's something that you want instead of like the biker short type shorts that I just talked about with the wonder trains and the aligns the, these are like a looser short that come with that underwear built in so if that's kind of like more your style I really like the high rise and just like the cut of the speed up I personally feel is most flattering like on my body type I like the speed up the most um, and I just like that they have a high-rise version. So I recommend those if you're looking for like a looser type of short. Okay, so if you're keeping track and counting, that was 10 products. But I do have two extra products that I want to mention. One is this oversized uh, scuba half zip. So I mentioned this before. I love this. I have it in multiple colors. I wear these all the time. I like the versatility of like zipping it. Um, you can have it all the way down. You can pull it all the way up. I usually keep it like right here in the middle. It's got a really good sized hood. Um, so like if it's raining or whatever, you can wear it like that. Um, I really like that it is cropped. It's not too cropped. And um, I also have the full zip 
but I just grab the half zips more and I think for me personally like I know a lot of people say they like the full zip because they can totally unzip it and just take it off but for a different reason I like the half zip because I can just wear whatever I want under and I don't have to worry about like having it like come on and off if that makes any sense like I'll wear line tanks I'll wear like a cloud bras right now I have the Lululemon Align bra on the reversible bra um so I'm wearing that right now but I just like that I can wear whatever I want under it and I don't have to worry about it like coming off not that it would fall off but does that make any sense I just prefer I grab this more so I have the full zip and I just I just really prefer the pullover so anyway I wear medium large I love this I have it in multiple colors I highly recommend if you can get your hands on it I think you should check it All out right, and the last bonus item that I'll share is the cardio cross trainer headband so if you haven't seen my headband video I tested out all of Lululemon's headbands and decided which was my favorite and car the cardio cross trainer was basically in my top two and I grab that all the time. Now that my hair is a little bit shorter, I find that like my baby hairs kind of like fall out of my ponytail or like I have all these weird pieces that kind of like get all crazy when I'm working out. So I like having a headband to just kind of pull it back and just keep it out of the way when I'm working out. And I have grabbed the cardio cross trainer of all my headbands. I think I bought like, I don't know, seven of them. I grab that one the most often. So this is a great stocking stuffer item. If you're thinking about that for somebody, I recommend, I think this is a great headband for someone who works out or maybe just likes headbands. Um, I love this one and I grab it all the time. All right, so that concludes my top 10 products from Lululemon for 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some value out of it. I will have everything linked below. Again, I think all of these would make great Christmas gifts if you're still looking for that. Um, and make sure to check out my other Lululemon videos because I do have quite a few hauls and outfits of the week on my channel. I will also have some more hauls coming soon, so do not forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.